Yeah. It was really fun to getting like, you know, phone calls from Jamal and Annabelle, our showrunner of like, hey, so in this part, um, <laughs> she's going to pop all of the boys like balloons. Can you make sure the music feels like that? And I'm like, oh, I will try. <laughs> I've well, never had that request before, but let <laughs> me try. The first thing I wanted to know from both of you is what was the most difficult thing about updating Greece for 2023 while still honoring the films? It was all challenging, but I think I think we don't necessarily feel like it's an update more as because it's a prequel. We're kind of like just um, uh, making sure that we 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 honor the blueprint of what it was but we're also creating a new a new thing so i never really put the pressure on myself yeah. and i don't, i think justin feels the same as like we just wanted to create something entirely new that felt uh familiar but you know something exciting and 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 so that was the 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 thing for me you know yeah, yeah. and the, the original grease luckily it's so loved which is scary to step into those shoes, but it's very much a late seventies version of fifties nostalgia. Um, so that it's not on purpose. It's not supposed to be like this perfect period piece. Totally. So that yeah. let me feel a little more free in terms of like, all right, so they were current meets the fifties. I get to be current meets the fifties sonically. So that took a lot of pressure off. Like when you're North star, didn't put pressure on themselves right. yeah. in that way. Yeah. Um, it let me not put pressure on myself, but I feel like it's also just what an honor to be able to step into the a world that people love so much. I just, I just focused on the honor, not on the terror. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Justin, you're one of like the great pop songwriters, I think of the modern day. Like, w did you have any learning curve or issue getting into the world of musicals or had you been interested in that or done that before? I've been interested for years and years. That's why I got into music in the first place, whether it was um, Grease, um, obsessing over the Pink Lady specifically, or Annie, or all these movie musicals. That's why I ever even realized I liked music. So to get to go back to the things that sparked me in the first place was really exciting. And then also I've been lucky enough I've been developing like a stage musical with Adina Menzel and Eve Ensler and Diane Paulus. And I've been working on that for about two years before I got this job. So through those three giants of theater and musical theater, um, I've been, I had already been in like a two year masterclass about how to try to attack this art form. But then we had to figure out <laughs> no one's ever done 30 original songs for a TV show before. So even just figuring out like logistically who do you send the song to and when and how do you send it? <laughs> that was like a yeah. whole a whole shit show in itself. Jamal, uh this show, I mean, you said you're not, you're not uh, you know, modernizing it, but I feel like this show levels up what you expect from choreography in a in a TV show because you have these like incredible sets and shots. And there was one where like you're reversing footage and people have to do dancing like in reverse, like it's insane. So how much work did you put in making sure that this was something people haven't seen before? The exciting part of it is that we get to use technology of today's time as opposed to what they had available to them back in, you know, the original, the big MGM musicals. Um, so we were able to utilize those things. Um, and I think that that's what, you know, elevated the the numbers as well. Like we could really use that that technology. Um, but also, you know, I, th I think once you do that, people still want to feel like they're getting what they were used to, you know what I mean? So we just had to find the balance of like updating it and making it fresh and making it new, but then also making it feel like, oh yeah, I, I know this already. You know what I mean? Like this feels like home. So yeah, it was, it was the balance. It was really fun to getting like you know, phone calls from Jamal and Annabelle, our showrunner of like, hey, so in this part, um, <laughs> she's going to pop all of the boys like balloons. Can you make sure the music feels like that? And I'm like, oh, I will try. <laughs> I've well, never had that request before, but let <laughs> me try. What does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. I think that's my time, but I, oh, I'm such you. a fan of the show. It's you both crushed it. I can't wait to watch more. Yay.